Hello! Today I come to you with a very disorganized list of books that I feel like you should read if you are not have anything to do. I freaking love reading and I feel like not a lot of people like reading but I feel like some books you just read them and they change your life and I'm not trying to be cliche or anything I'm trying to be real from the heart so I'm coming straight hot to you try you with a disorganized list of books that you should read for sure my first favorite book the Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabatsky? Question mark? I don't know. Favorite book. You have to read it. It's so good. It's not thick. It's not intimidating. How many pages is this? 200 pages. Really? 200 pages. You can read this. Not a girl book, not a boy book. It's just a great book. I mean, it's about a boy, but uh, that doesn't make it a boy book. And it's just so good so many different stuff in it that is so it's so a relatable book i just can't you just have to read it i promise you you won't not like it and then there's a movie to go with it so yeah you have to read it number two is a book i don't have a physical copy of but anyways it is it's kind of a funny story by ned vizzini and it's such a good book too it's it's not a boy girl a boy or girl book again it's just a really really good book um i kind of think it's kind of the same as the perks of being a wallflower just a little bit but it's really an original story and it's a little bit longer i think it's like 300 something pages but it's so good and i don't want to talk about them a lot because i want you to read them and there's also a movie it has zach Galifianakis and emma S roberts or stone <laughs> i always kind of confused yeah it's very original i've never read a book like it and it just the beginning is kind of slow and it's like you're like oh where's this going and then it it happens like what is supposed to happen happens and it's like yes yeah, this is so good and it's very it's even more relatable than the perks of being a wallflower it's just really good and you have to read it the next book is actually a girl book but i mean it's not like boys can't read it it's just like pretty girly so i don't think boys would want to read it and it's called slammed and it's by colleen hoover and it's definitely one of like my, my top books and oh it is so good like it's got romance it's got i don't really like poetry but it's slam poetry so it's like it's like a monologue it's like it's so good and I like I don't want to give it a, anything away I don't really want to talk about them but um it's not long it went by really really fast I think it's only like 250 ish pages and it's a trilogy but the other two books I liked them because I'm into like really gooey romanciness sometimes but I don't recommend those <laughs> I just recommend the first one and it's a love story it's just it's good and it's not tragic or anything so not like the fall Down stars which is a very good book too but i'm not going to suggest it because everyone reads those books i'm trying to suggest books that are maybe underrated and people don't want to read it because they don't want to read but you have to read them because it's just these are the kind of books that shape you kind of have to read them so. this next book is my third favorite book of all time and it is a not a boy or girl book and actually I think everyone's read it but if you haven't read it like where are you are you on Pluto under a rock please read it it's the maze runner I think everyone has heard about it or seen the movie and it's way better than the movie I promise you and it's not you're not gonna regret reading it I mean you're just not it's got it's complete like the whole book is all action like you're never bored with it and I love it starts confusing oh it's just so good I'm sure you've already read it but read it again it's so good you have to read this book the last book is well, books they're series they're girl books and okay you don't have to read these but they're literally so funny and awkward and they make me so happy and they're did I say they're girl <laughs> books and they're British so they have like some words in them anyways uh i don't have the first one with me right now but i have two and three 
the 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 Georgia Nicholson diary books. The like the first one's Angus Thongs with Full Frontal Snogging, and then I have the second one and the third one. And I, I've read all eight of them. I think there's seven. There's seven of them. They're literally so funny. It's like this girl, and she is just really awkward and she journals and she's like really funny and her friends are really funny and she like goes through like all these struggles and like they're relatable and then sometimes they're just so outrageous if you want a book about like a really outrageous girl and she's like really funny and like there's some british humor in it you should totally read these books <laughs> i'm not forcing you to read these like i was forcing you to read the other ones but these are really really funny and like they're just so funny I can't, I just, I have nothing else to say, they're fine. So that was my list of five, 12 books that you should read, have to read four of them, you should read the other, the George Nicholson books, you should read them, but you have to read the other four. And of course, I love books like Hunger Games and Fault in Our Stars and stuff, but like those, like those aren't extremely underrated. Like. Like the books I just said, they're extremely underrated. Like they need to be woo, cause they're so good. That's all I have to say about that. Have a great day and get your nose in the book.